I wonder why you're keeping silent in this matter. You know our tradition. How can it come to the tone of Izebubi and the God seems to compromise? Why? <clears throat> I keep asking if this is your know that we all used to know. Or is there something you know that we don't know? I know nothing. You have changed. I know nothing. I asked His Majesty the same question severally. And he tells me the same thing he keeps telling all of us. So I believe His Majesty knows the tradition. He knows right what to do at the right time, even more than we do. And he has never disappointed. Well, things are not done in that way. The affairs of Ozo Opolo, the affairs of our community, are not done in that way. But if I may ask, are the gods playing politics? Oh. You see? No. You need to talk to the king. Ah. Let him start preparing before it will be too late. Oh! That is if he has not done anything. Because I don't even know what to believe of his majesty again. <clears throat> um, I've heard what all of you said. And um, I'm going to do as you said. <laughs> Now you come. You are, you are Let's, <laughs> Let's go. God is not a man. Tomorrow you sleep. Even in a tunnel, if a chip will run your I am a nobody. Things they happen. I am a nobody. Nobody. Things they happen. I am a. Na la ni If an enemy no boy No bodani Things they happen I'll going to stay this way You've always known that a day like this would come I mean it is tradition and there's nothing we can do about it But what baffles me is that you're kind of relaxed about the whole thing La la I want to be left alone. I need to think. As I must said, that whatever it is you're planning, plan fast. But if I may ask, what exactly is it that you're planning? And what is so difficult for you to understand that I want to be left alone? Yeah. Fine. Nothing. <laughs> well, for real, nothing at all. <laughs> yeah. But you know, already. Um, hi. Please give me a, give me some minutes. Let me talk, attend to my dad. I'll call you back. Yes, Daddy. Who's that? Um, a hmm? friend. Mm -hmm. Let's leave that first. What happened? You didn't go to work today. Yes, Daddy. I don't feel like going. I feel like staying at home and relaxing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's talk a bit first. Before I go to work. Mm -hmm. Okay, Lee. So? Hmm. Sola. Look at it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My daughter. Daddy. You see, I know you are very hard working, that you don't even have time for yourself. But this time, I want you to have time for yourself. <laughs> hmm? Okay. Okay? I want you to socialize and make friends. It's not encouraging that a beautiful lady like you will cultivate a habit of uh, home to work, 
walked home. Huh? What's to do that? Okay. Hmm? All right, Daddy. Or maybe you don't have the intention to give me grandchildren. Says who? Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> Daddy, come on. You know, um, very mm. soon I am going to bring a man you will call his son, mm -hmm. my husband, mm -hmm. and I am going to make you a proud grandfather. Wow, I can't wait for that. <laughs> <laughs> um, Don't worry, you will be the one to run home hmm? because I am going to have plenty of children. Plenty of grandchildren running up and down here. You'll be the one crying, telling me to please come help you control them because they are going to disturb you. Yeah, we'll be pursuing ourselves in this house <laughs> <laughs> round and round and round. Well, that's why I trust you. Before I forget, yes, sir. I want you to make time next week for us to visit uh, the king of our community. What's my business with him? Hey, since you were a kid, the man liked you very much. And after your mother's barrier, you left the country. And since then, he hasn't seen you. And uh, after your mother's barrier, you left this country. Yeah. And since then, he hasn't seen you. Okay. Uh, so I promised him that uh, I will visit him together with you. Hmm? in his palace, so that uh, he can see you once again. Hmm? And uh, the man loved you so much that he wished that his son will marry you. But unfortunately, he doesn't have a child. Is it it's quite a pity. Honestly. And does he have, have a wife? Yes. A very good woman. Gladys, very good woman. But uh, I don't know why the gods decided to punish them that way. So bad. It's fine. Mm. I am going to make out time next week for them. Okay. At least, let's pay royalty a visit. Oh, that would be great. <laughs> I know. Huh? That's my daughter. Thank you. Thank you very much. Maybe next week. We just want okay. time. Yeah, to next week. Hmm? It's fine, sir. Let me go to work. You're going? Yes, yes, I have to. I have to. Have to. Okay. <clears throat> the driver is standing by already. Hmm? Gossip. Is it one day I'll beat you? Me hmm. too. Hey. Is it fight? Hey. 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 What are you guys doing here? You are not quarreling today. Hmm. That's good news, so. Anyways, have you girls noticed what is happening recently in this palace? Notice what? You mean you don't know what is happening in the palace? The king seems to be having a series of meetings with the Ono. I'm just wondering what is going on. See this one. I haven't thought you want to talk about His Majesty's refusal to drop power as the king. That one is a very important issue. There's always been a part of our tradition. I wonder why the king is refusing to Ono. Hmm. Well, girls, I don't think we should be discussing about His Majesty and his wife in this manner. After all, these people have been very good to us, mm -hmm. not only to us, but to the entire community. That's true. That you're right. I have plenty of things inside this community. Is it because, so you know. is it because I come so now? You know. You 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 start noticing what you, you have to do. Just imagine. This one will decide from me inside. Yes, how are you? Ah, fine, ma. Uh, is your boss in? No, he carrying Father Gupak. He's not picking my calls. Mm, of course he carrying Father Gupak, but if you want to enter, I hold my boss, Becky. That's fine. Make up with it. You know, I must confess, I never believed in love. Most times when I see people in love, I 
often ask myself, will I ever fall in love? Right now, I must have this. I am the luckiest man on earth to have you in my life. I bless the day I found you. And today is a beautiful day to say I love you with all of my existence. Promise me. Promise me you will never leave me, no matter what. Can fishes survive without water? How can I stay without you? I can't even... I can't live without you. Yes, I still know. You've made my life a paradise. I love you now. I'll love you tomorrow. I'll love you forever. <laughs> I will cherish you forever, my hero. You're so wonderful. And I must say, my life changed for good the moment you stepped into it. And all of me can attest to that. <laughs> You're a blessing to my life. Huh? You're a blessing to my life too. Thanks for reminding me. Huh? All right, let's go. I love you. I love you too, my darling. I love you, silly. I love you, crazy. I love you, mad. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Okay. Huh? So, what do you plan? The atmosphere here is very beautiful. Yeah, I know. Very beautiful. You like? Yes, I love to walk down the streets all the time. I when I'm free. I can't remember when last I walked down like this. Really? I only did that on the US. Alright. Okay. As far as we're together. This is so cute. <laughs> Once my father used to call me Asa. <laughs> but you right now, I am calling you Asa. <laughs> Yo, Asa. <laughs> coming inside is this what you're going to do all through this night eh magnus come on. don't come inside come on monica come on i know you want to understand but you see sleep is for pitiable people and as it says any man that craves for success must always stay roused and strategize while others Slumber. <laughs> See, all these things you just said now, you don't understand. Of course, I know, I know. All I know is that Papa said you should come inside. Cheji go. Cheji go, Magnus. Eh? And stop insulting me with all these your big, big grammar. I like your Come on. Yeah? Come on. I'm not insulting you. Come on. Baby girl, come on. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, can I ask you? Listen. Can I, can I ask you something, Monica? Do you think if we if we do not dump our pockets as fast as possible, do you think we'll be able to subsist this economic recession that is hammering our society? Do you think so? Are you done talking? Magnus, go. Come inside and sleep. I'm going inside. Pastor, you should come. Are you not? Follow me. Let's go inside. 
Magnus, let's go inside. Don't worry. Just, 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 just get go. I see. You. I can't see anything. You can I get my light? Damn it! I can't see. Ah, I can't see. Hello. Good morning, the gorgeous, most beautiful woman of this amiable kingdom. The most beautiful sunshine that ever liveth. Did you have a wonderful night rest? Did you had a sound sleep? Or did you have a terrible nightmare? Dear yeah, Magnus, that university that you went to, did you see me there? Oh, no. The answer is capital N O. No. Mm. I mean, you you can't even be there to start. Because with. all this grammar you just blown now. The only thing I could make out is good morning. Good morning. Why are you embarrassing me uh, every time with your uh, grammar? Uh, 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 that means you actually heard me. You heard the good morning and you did not respond. Now, why didn't you respond? Oh, you don't know that respect is reciprocal. You don't know that? Haponomaka Magnus. Uh anyways, it's not your fault. I I I understand that uh, you are you're still that um illiterate. Stuck illiterate for that matter. I I, I do not hold it against you. <laughs> but um I was merely saying if you had a terrible night dream or would you want to share with me? I don't have any terrible night dream. What gine quarrel this morning? Well, uh, I just wanted to inform you that um, I'm about going to look for work. You know, as they say, an idle man is the devil's workshop. And I, Magnus, never want to be a devil's workshop. Magnus, Jebe. So I'm up. Jebe, go and look for work. All right, baby. So, I'll Bye -bye. see you later. All right? Mm. Woo! Off I go. Na ko na so grammar. Hmm? The grammar really. So who is this Grace? Grace. Let me just know about Grace. Crazy guy. <laughs> <laughs> Handsome guy. He's so Tell cute, me. daddy. Cute? So so cute. Ah. Uh -huh. He, 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 he's a fine guy. Of course, he, uh. he, he, he is. Uh -huh. <laughs> he's, he's charming, like he won my heart. Really? He's won my heart. How many? He touches you. Uh -huh. Not really. Uh -huh. but the way he looks into my eyes. Okay. The way he tells me he loves uh -huh. me. Uh -huh. uh, the way he talks to me, you know, <laughs> he, he makes me feel like a queen that I am. Okay, okay, okay. That's the impo most important thing yes. that he cares. Very. He loves you. Well. He loves me so, so, so much. much. Ah, yeah. And I love him right back. Then. Ah, ah. I do. Mm. I know you don't eat any health food. No. That's what I know of you. <laughs> you. You have your choice. You have your class. Yes, <laughs> you, uh, I trust you. I trust you. I'll just be happy.
It's been quite a while. <laughs> How, How are you? Yeah. How are you, your man? You're welcome, sir. Ah, my daughter. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. Stephanie, my daughter. You're welcome. Yeah. Lola. Shall we? Food is delicious. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. My wife is a very good cook. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, my good friend Ibezio, I'm really delighted. I'm honored for you to come and have dinner with me, my family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your daughter <laughs> is here also. My beautiful daughter. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. You know, I will do anything for you. And especially with your recent request to come to see my beautiful daughter, Stephanie. Oh. Mm -hmm. I missed her. Really? I've been longing to see her. Look at her. <laughs> she has um, grown to be a very big woman. Mm -hmm. A full grown woman. A, a perfect replica of her mother. <laughs> <laughs> I am so sorry that I've not been chanced to come and see you. That's all right. Mm -hmm. um, I was made to understand that um, you're always busy, you know. That's always busy. It's all right. <laughs> She's a good cook too. Oh, really? <laughs> Dad. Yeah. Oh, I know. Okay. Chocumbas are very good for the eyes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let me have one myself. Okay. Stephanie indeed has grown into a beautiful young girl. Mm. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, my We cannot wait for you to, you know, settle down. Mm. And we're waiting to be invited. Oh, really? <laughs> Even me, I'm patiently waiting for the lucky man. <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Daddy. Mm. Don't worry yourself, Your Majesties. Very soon, you all are going to meet my man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can't wait. This is my baby. <laughs> it's, it's okay. Nice <laughs> <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. Your Majesty. Sit down. Gentlemen, you know, when I tell you about the situation in this country, it's nothing to write home about. I mean, how can the oil polloi of this country, the people we elected to rule us, now turn around to butcher us? I mean, how do you explain that? But I don't, I don't blame you guys because you, you don't understand what that means. Because you guys are a bunch of illiterates. Huh? Me, a glorified illiterate. Oh yes. You call me bunch of illiterates. Come on, what do you want to? You want to come out? You're crazy. Huh? Come on, come on. I will do it. You will do it. You will do it. I should leave her. I should leave her. I should leave her. I should leave her. You know, I can't help. Anik, <laughs> why are you feeling pompous? I uh, can't help. Can't help what? Yeah. You're the one that. that Fight the fight. Yes. Yes. Once you did it, I did it as well. <laughs> you know, it's a teamwork thing. It's really a teamwork thing, all right? Why are you, why are you behaving like a woman? And then Charlie, why is she a lonely? Eh? She 
it. I can't help it. What do you expect me to do? So I can't help. Before you left the house today, you said an idle man is a devil's workshop. So that place I saw you today, that's where you're doing your work, Abby. Uh, you know what, Monica? You know, forget about what I said. Okay, what I said earlier was what I said earlier. But trust me, to say the least, I was so proud of what you did. I mean, it was heroic. And for that, I owe you one very big package. Big <laughs> package. You know what I Leaf package. I came to that bar to drink away my sorrow. We don't carry your rage for my party. Huh? Listen, you don't have to worry yourself, okay? For what you did today, I appreciate it from my heart. And if you want drink, I'll buy you drink. From my heart, I'll buy you. Mm. Yeah, no controversy. Oh, yeah, now. Start by buying me one bottle of chilled beer. That's what you want? And pepper soup. No, wahala! <laughs> you have it. That's good. Oh, my goodness. Hi! Dime! 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 You can plan all you know. You can do all you could. God is not a man. Tomorrow is deep. Even in a tunnel, if it's a pulunya, gemelili. Ayama, nobody do you. Things they happen. Ayama, nobody do you. Things they happen. Ayama, na lani. Nobody do you. If any man nobody. Ayama, nobody do you. Things they happen. Ayama. What is the problem? For the first time, you ignored me, your husband? Who offended you? I mean, talk to me. You want me to talk to you? What exactly do you want me to say to you? No, answer me! Do not unken me, okay? Don't unken me, because I don't understand what's going on around here. What is the matter with you? Now, in case you have forgotten, let me remind you. 30 years of marriage, we have been open and, and, and faithful to one another. And what suddenly happened? Everything has changed. No. Nothing has changed. I can guarantee you that. Really? Yes. Nothing has changed. Now you tell me, why did you give the elders the instruction to prepare for the coronation oh. without letting me know what's going on? So what's happening? Am I supposed to pack my things and go back to my father's house? Oh, better still, maybe your plan B is that we move to uh, 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 Obobo town where you've built a house for our retirement. Is that it? The gods forbid. Oh, I will never try such a thing. There he goes again. The gods forbid, the gods forbid. Now oh, answer me and tell me the truth for once. Do you have a child out there? Lolo. Wait, will be. Please, calm down. Huh? Lalo, wait, will be. Ha ha! for do be. Oh, wait, get to her. There you go, again! Lolo, there is always a reason for everything. Mm -hmm. But you see, I... You don't have anything to say. 
You definitely do not have anything to say. What are you doing here? I... I... I, I, I what? Doing what you are best at doing? This attitude of yours is outrageous and very bad. What if it was the queen that found you? What would you have done? Are you okay? Like, are you mad? Eh? Can't you mind your business for once? Mind my business. Shh, please, please, you see this palace. Allow me to breathe. I will oh, allow you to breathe. I will allow you to breathe. But this your attitude will put you in trouble one day. It will put you back. Nonsense. So you must see why. Cut a big head. Where's Amaka? She's in the kitchen. Please call her immediately. Okay, Your Majesty. Do you understand? Yes, Your Majesty. Good. Hello. My queen. I'm sure you're wondering why I asked you to come. You know, I have always respected you and seen you as an honorable man. I wouldn't want to change my mind. Okay. Uh, my queen. I haven't seen you in this mood before. Uh, what, what's the problem? Can you come down and talk to me? I am going to ask you a question and I want you to tell me the truth. Please Nothing go ahead. Go ahead. but the truth. Okay. Does my husband, the king, have a child out there? <laughs> my queen, not to the best of my knowledge. Really? Then yes. how come the king asked you and the elders to Get things in place for the coronation. My queen, um, I don't think you should bother yourself over this. Uh, it was your husband's request to put things in place for coronation. I see. Yes, my queen. You know, I've been married to my husband for years. I understand him perfectly well. I know when he's bothered, when something worries him, I know. And I know that there's something he's hiding which you might be aware of. But since you're not ready to spill the beans, not to worry, I will find out what the problem is. <laughs> I'm sorry, Your Highness. I do not have any meaningful information, but I do have a suggestion. Well, say it. I don't have all day with you. Osondo. Osondo is in a better position to get you this information. Osondo. What? The king's favorite guard? Yes, your highness. Thank you. Your Majesty, you sent for me. Osondo. The king's favorite guard, right? Yes, Your Majesty. Wait. Um. I actually need you to do me a favor. And I promise you, you will not regret it. You see, I want you to monitor the king for me. Find out for me everywhere he visits, what he discusses with Onowu, and where both of them visit together. OK? 
Can you do that for me? Listen, I promise you, you will be paid handsomely for this. Can you do that for me? Yes, Your Majesty, I will. Good. Thank you. Thank you. You may leave now. Oh, it's Your Majesty. Thank you. Your Majesty, Queen is becoming too curious to know what is going on. Yeah, I have a feeling that um, she's beginning to suspect. But what do we do? Nothing. We do nothing. Let's wait until I unravel everything. Uh, so how did your meeting with the elders go? <laughs> very well, very well. Everything is going in place. Fantastic. All right, bye. All right, bye. Oh, Santo. Why are you avoiding me? Hmm? You know I like you so much. And I hate it when you avoid me. Well, you know you're in a public place, right? All us have eyes. Who cares? But there's something I want to ask you. Go ahead, Fifi. What's, what's it? I want to know where the king sent you today. Oh, that? Yep. The king actually sent me to call on you. I think those two are hiding something that they don't want anybody to know about. It is always the case to whenever we visit on you. Even whenever I go to Onowu's place, it is always the same thing. He sends me out. Really? Yeah. Those two are hiding something. And the king is always looking troubled. And I hate seeing him in that mood. He's counting us. There is really more to this than meets the eyes. But trust me, I'm the king's personal guard. I will unravel whatever it is in this palace. It's okay. See you. Just like that? After putting me in this mood, you want to believe me just like that? Exhausted. Yeah, I called your office earlier. Okay. But they told me you, you had left the office a long time ago. Ah, yes, Daddy. Good evening. Yeah, yeah. I went to see a friend who is hospitalized. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. Thank you. Uh, which of your friends? <sighs> Daddy, you don't know the person, okay? Mm. Let me go upstairs and freshen up. I'll be right back. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Is it a he? Or is she? Daddy, you don't know him. Okay. It's a he. Huh? It better be a he. Because I can't wait to see my son-in-law. Oh. Uh-huh. Okay, this way you're driving at. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'll mm -hmm. find you. <laughs> You've heard me? Sad. So let like, uh, we'll do it fast, yeah? Have you had something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or should I make something for us? No, now. Maybe later. Later. Why not now? Let's let me make something for us. Let's do that later. Alright, Daddy. Uh, let's do later. <laughs> okay, Daddy. I'll be upstairs. Alright, okay. Just freshen up, right? Yeah, I'm coming right back. Yes, Daddy. What? Ah, whoa. Why are you giving me that look? 
Huh. I'm your father. I know. Uh huh. The you father know the of the most prettiest girl in the whole world. I am the daughter <laughs> of the most richest and influential man in this town. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. So proud to be your. Oh dad. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, daddy. No problem. Okay. You yeah. need a you need a son-in-law, huh? Uh, yeah, I need it. Fast. Okay. Yeah. The throne wants to make Ibezim's daughter the queen. Okay. Now, how is that possible? Is Eze Bube at his age capable of marrying a maiden now and having a child? <laughs> Grandpa, to be sincere with you, I think. The king is too secretive. Like, why is he planning this? We are all confused here. <laughs> Your Majesty, what are you doing here by this time of the night, Your Majesty? I should be the one asking you that question. You should have been gone by now. You might just have planned staying out tonight, but I noticed how moody you are recently. And I've been thinking of what to do to cheer you up, Your Majesty. Just you don't bother yourself. I'll be fine. Go back in. Are you sure, Your Majesty? Dance like this. Majesty, I used to try small, small. Small, small. You know what? I am so happy about this. You know why? I can't remember when last I saw my beautiful, adorable Lolo smile and laugh like this. Thank you. Thank you, Your Majesty. Um, um, Your Majesty, should I give her a local dance from Enugu? You would like it? Of course, I'll dance with you. This one is strong. <laughs> Thank you, my love. Thank you. Oh no. 
I'm sorry that we have to discuss this thing. Uh, it's something we need to discuss in our house. But now that we are here, I need to tell you. Something bigger than the cricket is about to invade the cricket. <laughs> what can be bigger than a great masquerade like you? It's about King Gezebube. What about him? He came to my house yesterday asking for the hand of my daughter in marriage. Can you imagine that? <laughs> oh no, this, this is not a laughing matter at all. Hey. It's not. Hmm. I'm laughing. Yes, I know. Uh, but it's a good news. What? If the throne wants to make your daughter <laughs> the queen of our great kingdom, then it's, it's fine. I imagine. Ah, so there's a gang up. How is it a good news? No, chief. The journey to the stream does not begin when the pot is filled, but when it's empty. No, no, no. <laughs> no, oh, oh, no, I know. I know, but that does not answer my question. <laughs> Chief, you just told me that King Ezebube asking for the hand of my daughter in marriage is a good news. How is it a good news? Chief, when you and I know that King Ezebube is about to retire as the king of uh, Ozobolo ancient kingdom. Chief, if the throne and the king decide to make your daughter the queen of our great kingdom, then go and rejoice. Because you and I know that uh, King Ezebube is an upright man <laughs> and he cannot harm your daughter or you. I know it. I know he can't. I know, I know. But no but. Chief, go home. Go and eat. Drink, rejoice for good news is coming your home. Eat and rejoice when I could not even sleep last night. I didn't sleep last night. So what, should, what are your plans for tomorrow? Okay, tomorrow morning I will be going for a meeting. But afterwards I am coming back home. Home, you mean my house? Of course. Alright. That means um, when I get back home tomorrow from work, I'll find a home. <laughs> of course. Okay. Tomorrow I want to spend the whole day with my mom. I hope you still have your keys. Of course. They're right there on my table. All right, then. Uh, my wife will be coming tomorrow. Yes, yeah, so I don't want you in my house. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Okay, please. Then she has me to contend with. Because I don't share my man with anybody. So, let her know that. I am a tightness when it comes to my mind. I love you, baby. I love you more. Alright. Good night. It's been a while. Hey, hey. Oh no. Yeah, your majesty. I forgot to tell you that um, I went to Chief Ibezem's house to. I already know, your majesty. Really? Yes. He came to me to confide in me for advice. 
excuse me. That plan of yours is not going to work in this house. Who the hell do you think you are? Now, let me tell you something. Polygamy is not going to happen here. And even if it would, it has to be decided upon by my husband and I. We agree on it, we plan it, and we execute it. Not get it executed by this, this home wreck. Will you keep quiet? How dare you? How dare you insult the owner of Ozobul Kingdom in my presence? Yeah, it's okay, Your Majesty. Huh? It's okay, Your Majesty. She's only a woman who thinks her right is to be stolen. Uh, it's okay. It's not okay. Does she need to express that by insulting me? I mean, should she disrespect me in public? Is that the way to express how she feels? I mean, embarrassing you in my presence is an insult to my person. No, 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 no. I will not take it. I will not. Where is this woman? Your Majesty. What's oh, Sondu? Yes, Your Majesty. Did they discuss something this afternoon? Nothing serious, Your Majesty. It seems the king is planning for his retirement. Is that what he said? Yes, Your Majesty. Although they never went into details, they only mentioned it. I see. You may leave now. Yes, Your Majesty. My daughter, hmm? you know I had always wanted the best for you. You know it. Dad, I used to think so. But mm. it's obvious I've been wrong all these years. Hal? Yes. I mean, how could you look at me, your beautiful angel, and you want me to marry that old man that is of same age with you? <laughs> Daddy, I can't. I will not do it. But, 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 but there's no bot here, Daddy. There is no bot. I mean, how did he even come up with this idea? I don't get it. Like, have you forgotten that this man is of same age with you? That he is of same age with you. He's an old man. No, I okay. know. Okay. Well, what will people think of me? His beautiful wife. What is she going to think of me? After all these years out of the country, only for me to come back to Nigeria and, and I'll end up marrying an old man. That I can't, I can't do it. I can't marry him. He's old enough to be my father. I understand, I understand. Stephanie, my daughter, you need to trust me on this. Ebube is a very good man. Oh, he's an old man. He's a very good man. But he's an old man. I know. You can't dispute that fact. I know. He is old. That he's an old man, the same age with you. And besides, I have a serious relationship. I have a date. I have someone I am in love with. I can't marry your friend. Please cut me some slack. I don't want to talk about it again. I don't want to talk about it again. Why is she not here yet? I know she must be mad at me right now. Dad, good morning, sir. Good morning, my dear. 
Yes, thank you. Mm. I've been waiting for you at the dining for breakfast. I don't have the appetite for breakfast this morning. But I know how you feel. No, you don't. You don't know how I feel. You don't know what I feel. You don't know who I feel something for. No, you don't. I mean, you want me to quit a coding relationship that took me energy, time, and resources to build? A sweet relationship that I am happy to be in? To marry your, your friend, that old man, all in the name of marriage? No, father, I can't. I can't do it. Try to understand your father. I should understand you. Yet, it is very difficult for you to understand my feelings. Father, please. I don't have strength for long talks. I have a day to run. Excuse me. Please, can you stop calling? I don't want to talk to anyone. I don't... I don't feel like talking to you. I don't want to talk to anyone. I'm not in the right frame of mind right now. Chris, please. I sound worried. I'm not worried. I am fine. Okay? But please, stop calling me. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Just stay clear. Stop calling. Please end the call. I don't want to... I am not going to end the call on you. You called me, so you end it yourself. Chris, please. Bye. I don't feel like talking. I'm not in the mood. Don't you understand? I'm sorry. Bye.
I'll try. I'll try. <laughs> you like the food? I will feed myself some. <laughs> and I think you should give me the award of the best chef. Ah. Hmm? You have it, you have it, you have it. Okay. Thank you very much, Dad. You're welcome. Yes, sir. <clears throat> that reminds me. When you called earlier, you said you had something very important to talk to me about. Yes, son. <clears throat> and Dad, if it's about the girl I told you I wanted to get married to, you should forget about it. It's not going to work out. Really? Yes, Father. I know you might have been hurt by that. Oh, yes, I was. But I'm fine now. It's okay, it's okay. Um, you see, um, my son, <coughs> Dad, I lied to you all these years. And I think it's the right time for me to take you to your dad. I mean, your father. You see, um, you have grown of, of age, and uh, I think you can handle any matter that comes your way now. So, I think this is the right time for me to do that. What are you talking about, Dad? I thought you said he was dead. No, I lied to you. And I, I did that to keep you and the masses off, eyes from the trials to know who you are. Yes. So all this years, you've been lying to me about my true identity. I did that son to protect you and to safeguard you for your own good. Protect me from what exactly, father? Protect me from what? My mom died when? When exactly? Son, whom you are is very important to us. And we are doing anything we are doing to keep you and also for you to fear destiny. All the tales you're telling me right now doesn't make sense to me. Who's my real dad? Why have you been keeping him away from me all these years? And why has he decided to come back at this time? Why? Just calm down. But soon, you'll find out. It's your food. I'm not hungry anymore. I'm fine, Dad. Dad, I said I'm done, I'm fine. <sighs> uh -huh. You're my just. Um, what about the message you sent? Have you received any reply? Or we are still waiting? Well, I'm still waiting. But I am quite optimistic that... Uh, I will get what I asked for. Okay? So, in the meantime, uh, we need to start preparations for the ceremonies. And that is my retirement and um, the coronation of the new king. Your Majesty, <laughs> you sound so confident. And what about if the messenger comes back with negative news? Oh, no. Yeah, Your Majesty. Integrity is a great virtue that you cannot trade for any coin. And I believe, I'm quite sure, that uh, the tide will flow in my favor and that of the throne. Okay? So, Your Majesty. Don't worry. <laughs> Your Majesty. Yes. Because you see, I think I have to be on my way now. It's all right. It's all right. God is not a man. Tomorrow is deep. Even in a tunnel, if a chipulunya came a lily, I am a good deal. Things they happen, I am a. Hi. Good 
Okade. Um, I'm looking for Stephanie. Oh, my madam. Yes, uh, go inside. Tell Stephanie that Chris is here to see her. My madam is not at home. She left for work this morning. Uh, uh, what, what about her dad? Um, he left home this morning. He has never been back. When is your madam coming back from work? By 5 p.m. 5 p.m. All right, this is 3.30 p.m. Um, it's almost 5. I'll just um, wait for her. Yeah. But come inside, Nasa. No, don't worry. I'll wait in the car. Yeah. yeah. What are you doing at my gate? What's going on with us, babe? That doesn't answer my question. You have been avoiding my calls. What's the problem? What have I done wrong? Go home, I will call you. Babe, I need to know my offense. Chris, I have nothing to say. As you can see, I am so exhausted. I had a hectic day from work, okay? All I need right now is to go in, freshen up, eat something and rest. Babe, no, you need to talk to me right now. Go home, I said I'll call you tomorrow after work. Just go, please. Babe. What is the problem? Why are you like this? Dad. Do you yes. want... Hmm? You are all I have okay. since mom's death. Hmm. I have no one else except you. 
You have been my support system. You have loved me from birth. Thank I don't, you. I don't want anything to hurt you. Thank you, my daughter. I'm so grateful. I have forgiven you. Hmm? Thank you. I, I have... I have thought and... And I have decided to grant your request. Wow. Oh, my darling daughter. Thank you so much. I love you. I'm so grateful. Oh no. Oh, my daughter. Uh, you did this for me? <laughs> you did this? God bless you. Thank you so much. I don't want you to get hurt. No one is going to come between us. Not even Chris. Chris? Is that his name? Yes, wow. daddy. Okay. I love him so much. Hmm. I know he's, he's seriously hurting right now by my actions. I don't know how he's going to handle this. You don't worry. Hmm? You'll be fine. Just trust me. Okay? Trust me, trust me, my baby. I just hmm? pray. Trust me. trust me. You'll be okay. <laughs> I love you. Oh, I love you. I love you. I love you too, Daddy. You will not regret this at all. You will not. I promise you. Hmm? Promise you. Oh. I'm happy for you. Thank I'm you. happy for you. I'm happy for you. I'm happy for you. <laughs> <laughs> She can't tell it on me. I love her with everything in me. I can never love again. But how did she do it? She just moved on. Like I never existed in my life. Um, he was close to my house when he noticed that his car tire went flat, so he decided to leave the message with me. That she has accepted you through. Exactly. Ah. <laughs> Look, Ono, mm -hmm. now that she has accepted you through, we need to hasten up with the preparations. Exactly my thoughts. <laughs> you see the gods, eh? <laughs> They always lead us. Exactly. Yeah, because they are always with us. Yes. Yeah. Let's drink up. Yeah. Let's drink to this. Uh, Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Your Majesty. Oh, yes, uh, uh -huh. uh, Elders of our land, I greet you. Thank you. Thank you, Your Majesty. Majesty. Your Majesty. 
As you all know, the D Day is fast approaching. You know? And we are all looking forward to it, right? Yes. Um, I want to inform you that uh, I have done everything that is required of me. So we need to start making preparations towards the coronation and my retirement. You are all happy about that, right? <laughs> <laughs> so we yeah, but yes. we all know what to do. We know. We, okay? know. we know. Yes. We know. Good. <laughs> I we know. We know. Yes. Uh, you see, uh, everything will be done exactly the way we used to do them. The only difference, what we just need to tweak, is the chairmanship of the organizing committee. So I want to inform you that. Uh, the only one here is not going to be the chairman of the organizing committee. That means we should go ahead and nominate one. Exactly. I nominate Ichi a Godwin to handle it for us. Yeah, Ichi a You know how we usually get our chairman. <laughs> usually by voting. It's still it's exactly. But Ichi a Godwin, no one is competing with you. Yes. I concur. I concur. <laughs> Nobody is competing with you. Huh? Ije Godwin. Uh, Don't tell me that you are developing cold feet. No, no, not at all. Aha. <laughs> you see, the gods are with us. Before you were nominated, the gods may have sanctioned it. Okay? Moreover, we are all going to support you, won't we? <laughs> we support you to succeed. Thank you, Your Majesty. All right. Grandpa, why are you smiling? Uh, the truth is about to be unveiled. The truth about to be unveiled. How? Yes. What should I be talking about, Grandpa? The truth, my son. The truth. <laughs> Christopher, Dad, you have been like a son to me, and I've always loved you. His Royal Majesty, King Ezebube, Ezra Denobi, is your biological father. What? Who is this young man? Um, my love, please calm down. Um, I will explain everything to you. Don't tell me to calm down. You cheated on me after everything we had been through. Um, my queen, you know how much I love you. Oh, please. As a matter of fact, you know how much I love you. I, I, I couldn't bring myself to see you share me with another woman. Oh, really? You couldn't bring yourself? You had a child with another woman. A child I knew nothing about. And you, you sit here and tell me you loved me. 
But you can't see me sh share you with another woman. Oh, you're such a liar. You're such a pathological liar. Please, like I said, calm down. Please sit down. I did what I did because I needed to preserve the name of my my fathers and the throne. After you lost our baby during the accident, Dr. Murphy confirmed that you won't be able to get pregnant because your womb was adversely affected during the evacuation of the steel fetus. You and Dr. Murphy are liars. Liars you are! Majesty, the truth is, I know it's gonna hurt you. You and the queen need to know the truth. Talk to me. What is the problem? Uh -uh. During the time we evacuated the baby from the womb, there was a little complications that led to the damage of her womb, and that means that it will be impossible for her to conceive again. Are you trying to tell me that we can no longer have a child? Um, I need to take my leave now. Maybe I'll come back later to tell the queen my, the news myself. This will break her mood. It took her seven years before she was able to conceive. And if you still had this one, it will break her mood. Please. Let me see, doctor. We just have to keep it a secret. Please. Let's keep it a secret between me and you. I take my leave now. My queen. Look at the doctor's report. Go through it. Better still, call Dr. Murphy to confirm what I've just said. I, I didn't tell you because I didn't want to lose you. Who is his mother? Uh, my love, if you recall, I went into deep depression months after you returned from the hospital until one day. Martin, this might sound a little bit rude, but you know I am inquisitive in nature. Huh? And it's also going to be unfair if I don't tell you the truth. You know, aside being my king, you are also my friend. In fact, you are more, you are more of a brother than a friend to me. Huh? Uh, recently, I noticed that you're, you're becoming a shadow of yourself. What is going on? What is happening? To be honest with you, I'm losing the throne. And you know, this has been in my family for centuries. Mm -hmm. And it will be a, shame, a shameful thing if it gets to my turn and I will not return it. It's giving me worries. My king, you can take a second wife. Take a second wife, a woman that will bear you children, boys and girls, a jima here and there. There are so many fertile women in the village that can do that for you. And at least a, 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 a child that will keep your family name, that will keep this, this, this crown in this family. And if she has, what would I tell her? My kid, she's not supposed to know your every move now. I don't understand. Please, please, let's this be a secret between us. 
she lost her womb during our childbirth. I don't want to say anything that will destroy her, please. Let's leave it this way. Uh, but my king, you can take a concubine. Take a concubine so that she can offer one son, just one, that will keep your family name running. A son that will keep this crown you're wearing in this family. See, nobody has to know about this. I can arrange for it and we'll keep it a secret until the child becomes of age. And then we, we can tell anybody that cares to, 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 to know. That is a good idea. Oh. Your Majesty, keeping your secret is not the problem. My problem is you abandoning me later in the future. Myself and the kids, when your wife, the queen, eventually becomes pregnant for you. That is my only problem. You should not worry about that. This future thing will never happen. You know what? If we must do this thing, I will have to place your most in front of me of 100,000. Then when you go pregnant, I will increase it to 200,000. Mm -hmm. mm, well, that is okay. That's fine. You know, Uncle Agada is like a father to me. And trust me, I will do anything, anything for him. So I'm okay with it. Okay. Your Majesty, are you leaving already? I'm not going to spend the night. I'm sorry, I will not. I did not tell my lord I was going to spend the night out. Okay, you know what? When next we meet, I promise you I'm going to spend the night with you. You promise? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay. I'll be sending you some money so that you take care of yourself. Yeah? Some cash? Yeah. Well, you don't have to worry. You already sent me money for my monthly upkeep, and I think that is okay for now. I'm okay with that. Sure? If I need anything, trust me. Okay. Thank you. Brings you to my house by this hour of the day. I I heard that uh, you brought in a pregnant woman in your house, so <laughs> I came to check if it is in Kali or another maid. My king, it is in Kali. It is her. Let me go and call her. Let me call. Oh, my friend, I thought we agreed to keep her a secret. Why did you have to bring her to your house? My king, my king, you are the king, but there's just there's there's just so many things you don't understand. Eh? Sorry, this is don't don't take it to heart. Eh? The best place to hide something from someone is to hide it where they least expect to find it, and this house is that place. I don't understand you. My king, you going out on and off to see her. I mean, the possibility of people or even your servants finding out our little secret is very high now. But her staying here in my house, nobody will know. Nobody. You and I know very well that people don't even know her in this community. And again, I can be bringing her to the palace and I'll introduce her as my niece. Nobody will suspect anything at all. You know, people will always want to know why my pregnant uh, niece is following me to the palace, but who cares? Well, Your Majesty, I think my uncle here is right. Staying here is a way of keeping people's minds off it. 
Nobody will suspect anything. Nobody will even suspect I'm carrying your child. So I think it's a better option. Well, the idea is good. At least I will have her clothes. Uh -huh. So that I will be able to take care of her very well. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hope you're okay. Oh, my kid coming so that uh, we should offer you. Something. No, 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 no. You know what? I have to rush back to the palace yeah. before my absence is uh, noticed. Just take care of her. Thank you. my queen. I did what I did because I didn't want to hurt your feelings. Please forgive me. I saw it. I saw the medical report from the doctor. I was so happy because I was looking forward to you bringing in another wife. Somehow I knew you had some child out there. I really wanted to be there. My queen, he's now your son. Um, you know, Uncle died in his 15th birthday, and since then it has been only us. And um, I think I want him to experience the true love of a mother. Son? Thank you. You don't know what this means to me. Come. Thank you. Thank you. My son.
myself. Um, I summoned this meeting to intimate you of the royal plan. Uh, the plan is to, to get married. That means we want your royal wedding and your coronation to be the crown prince to take place on the next AK Market Day. And um, before that, uh, she must come a day before AK Market Day for purification and certification. Uh, you know it's a taboo for the groom to meet the bride before uh, the certification by the noble in the purifier. Yeah. I don't understand. You want me to get married, yet you do not want me to meet with my bride before the wedding day. How's that even possible? Son, I know it sounds all strange, mm. but believe me, it would work. Same thing happened between the king and I. We never knew each other, but look at us. Our love story is the best love story that has ever been told in the palace. So I advise you to embrace yours. Maybe I just believe your story will be better than ours. And if you believe me, I pray for it. I'm sure you will have a better one, better marriage. Son, Lola is right. You just need to do this, okay? Because uh, by the time I am gone, this throne will be yours, okay? I'm so happy for you, darling. Hello? Uh. <laughs> 
Grandpa, and who is this Neuku? And why do we have to wait for her? You sounded like she was so special. Ah, Neuku? Neuku? She is the first wife of the royal family. And she is the one that prepares the queen for the throne. No one sets eyes on her. No one does that. She is so revered in the whole Ozubulu community. Because you remember when I told you about our first king? Yes, yes. Hey, given to us. Eh? But Osebuluwa. Yes. She is the first wife. Oh. That means she must be very old and ancient. Well, I don't know about old age because you don't set eyes on her. <laughs> Ah, but she is revered in Azubu. You are the beauty that radiates everywhere. Shine, Akugo. Shine and let your beauty radiate. Your sunshine removes all the evil in the land. In the throne and every corner of our kingdom. Beauty of our time, let your sun shine. You are beautiful and tender. And that by choosing every evil in the life of your whole time and his entire people. Hey! I enjoy you. I enjoy you. I enjoy you. Let your beauty shine and radiate. Let your beauty shine and radiate. Let your beauty shine and radiate. And so shall the land radiate. And the tenderness of your beauty will overwhelm the throne. Shine, daughter of our kingdom. Shine, daughter of our kingdom. The beauty of our time. Shine, shine. Hey! If Stephanie finishes the cleansing without saying a word, then it is said that she is ready to marry the king. That is tradition. Everything you do has to do with tradition. It is what has been given to us, Jose Bulua, as our tradition. This is, I mean, life is all about customs, strange things, but this is so strange. to fly high. I have done my own part. I'm waiting to hear the cry of the child. <laughs> hmm. 
Elders and people of Zobo, may we proceed. By the powers conferred on me, as there is a more, the spiritual head of this kingdom, King Ezebube, I hereby restore your crown, the symbol of authority, back to you. You may proceed. Azubulukwenu. Yeah. Azubulukwenu. Yeah. Azubulukwenu. Yeah. Igwe. Igwe. I am very happy today. Oh no. Hmm? Your Majesty. Elders of our land. Igwe. I hereby present to you. The Crown Prince of Ozubul Kingdom. Oh no! Go ahead. My elders, I greet you. Oh no! Oh, no. Mm -hmm. My Prince, Neil. By the power invested on me as the Unohu of this great kingdom. Oh, also, yes. I hereby crown you the crown prince of this kingdom, Ozobolo. So dear Yako. Today, mm -hmm. as you saw outside, 
operations are on. Mm -hmm. We will go out there, we will dance, we will eat, and we will drink. No. Hero! Oh, yeah. Mm. 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 my son I believe you now know that love has a way of finding us the energy of love is a cycle and until you find the center love is not complete grandpa 
I must thank you. My coming here and staying here with you this night is a great eye opener for me. I've learned a lot about King, Ezebube, mm. Lolo, Stephanie, Chris. <laughs> now I can gladly go and work on my projects on the topic love accomplishments. And if I believe me, this one, I must do something great. I'm doing something great. My son, Azubulu land will aid and bless you. Thank you, Papa. Go there and tell them that in Azubulu, we live in peace, we love each other. Thank you, sir. Go and do your project. All right, sir. You will accomplish it. Papa, it's getting late. Are you not going to sleep? It's sleep already. Don't worry, you go ahead. I will join you, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Go on and excel. Azubu the land will bless you. Thank you, sir. Yes.